Hi guys, it's Rachel here. I hope you're all having a great weekend. And um, I'm back with day 61, woohoo, of the 100 day project. And I'll first I'll just show you um, the ones from yesterday. I just did a couple of them, I did something different. I didn't do anything different on that one. I just stitched around it. This one I put a label. The labels may come back out to play because they've been sorely missed and I didn't like the stamp so I covered it with a piece of fabric even though you can kind of see it and I put a flower there and I like that a lot more it's working for me now on this one I felt like I had this space here that I wasn't happy with and I just put a label coming off the page um, that one I didn't change anything just stitched just stitched and just stitched so that was yesterday's project now today I'm going to attempt to do um, a little project that I saw on um, Bonnie's channel. Now Bonnie, I'll just show you here in my telephone. Um, Bonnie is, can you see that? Let me just tap it just a second. Patience. Can you see that? Maybe. She's called Living Life Creatively on YouTube and she's the, let me just close this and you'll see here, she's the creative paper moth. On Instagram I first came across her on Instagram and I've been following her for a quite a long time there and she does very beautiful beautiful stuff so you should go and follow her um, and I just thought I would do um, she put a little um, it wasn't really like a tutorial it was kind of like she kind of explained how to do it um, but um yeah i saw the video yesterday i had to watch it about four times because it's quite complex so we're going to give it a whirl today um i've to, to i wouldn't have been able to remember if i didn't do this so it's very complex so hopefully i can get one done in a whole video um if i can't we might have to do a part two tomorrow so um mm. it's really cool and you and i'll link her video down below um it's slightly sped up and she explains what she's doing so um that's why i think i had to watch it like four times and i don't even know um if i got it right but i've also put a few little things in here that are a little bit different so i'll just show you quickly basically um this is like a a book page a floral book page and then this is going to be a pocket and this i've decided to put another pocket bonnie didn't do that she did um what did bonnie do oh bonnie had I think she might have had some decoupage or something there and then um, Bonnie made a tuck spot she stitched this to the page and she made a tuck spot at the top I'm going to make a tuck spot at the side and then um, this is another it's all going to be attached to another book page so we're recycling again and um, I'm attaching I think an envelope with this gorgeous design on and then here I'm going to collage down these pages and then this is going to be to a double tuck spot with some scrapbooking paper and then this is going to be another pocket here it's very complex I can tell you now and then um, this is going to be collaged down here because I didn't I wasn't mad about it was like a C image there and I what that's not what it's about and then Bonnie put a um, glassine bag she had one that was the width of her page mine's not so I put it sideways and it was a bit long obviously so I thought I'll fold it and that'll be decoupaged over so that'll be a tuck spot and then that'll be a tuck spot and that will be a tuck spot so how cool is that and this is all because of you Bonnie now I know I think sometimes you watch I'm not sure um, but I will be taking you Bonnie so you know um, and Bonnie also has um, things like these for sale in her shop they're really gorgeous so I'm quite tempted to buy one if she hasn't sold them all um, but I thought it was a fun project to do for this 100 day project so I think before um, you know before my, I run out of time I better um, I did pull out a few pages yesterday when I put everything away cleaned up my mess as you do um, so that way I would have something to get started with so this is the, the book um, that I've put there so I'm going to do it with this one isn't it gorgeous don't ask me what the book was because I tore out all of the pages and I have no idea what book it was um, I might be able to go onto Amazon and do a process of elimination I probably should buy it again because I do really like it so anyway it's quite a big book as you can see 
um, and um, I, I'm going to rip it down because my base page is, oh there's another one if I wanted to do another one, my base page is going to be one of these. Um, I think I could, I think I was going to use this one, but now I don't, I like that. Hi Lulu. Hey mummy, did you give me my money back? No, not yet. Oh okay. Because I've only got a 50. I was going to count. Oh, you just it's written there what has to be added in, so you just add it. Um, so this is going to be my base. It's quite cute, isn't it? Um, and so we'll do that first. Um, so so basically Bonnie had a, a page like this and then she used here an Edith Holden. But you can go and watch her video and see. I won't tell you what she did every five seconds. Um, I'll just do my thing. Um, but as you know, as I said, the idea comes from Bonnie. So basically this one gets folded in half the base. They're heavy money boxes. Are they? I can do weights with these. Oh, do you wait? Well, aren't you going to go outside and do um, volleyball with Daddy? Yeah, but he said a bit later. Oh, a bit later. Okay. Right, so that's folded in half. Now I need to concentrate, Lulu. Stop. Okay, if you're not helping, stop chatting. How about that for a deal? Okay. And then I need to get this one. And this one's going to be attached like so. And I'm just going to decide, yes, I think I, I like this part more. So I'm just going to do my willy-nilly measuring as I normally do. You know how it is. And I'm going to give that a little bit of a tear there because I don't want that part. It tears quite nicely with my metal ruler, I must say. So I don't need any of that. That could be quite a nice bit to keep that one there. You never know, might use it in some collaging. In my garbage bin here while I can. Um, so that's going to go there. And then actually the other, I need to actually fold it a little bit further, I think. Oh, and now I've got to fold. Oh, well, I'll have to just lump it, won't I? So, and then I'm just going to carefully just tear off because I've folded it wrong. Like there, I, this one I folded over a bit. I divided it a little bit different. It doesn't really matter. It's not the end of the world. That's probably my favorite saying. It's not the end of the world. There we go. Just tear this edge off because we like the torn look. We're having the torn look. You can have a straight look if you want to. I'm tearing it. I mean, that is super pretty, but we're going to lose that. doesn't matter. Okay, so that's my edge. And anybody who's um, inking can ink away there and you get a nice standing out edge. And that's just going to work just fine. It'll be just fine. And I'll just, I've got a bone folder here. Why don't I use that? Okay, now it is very complex, I must say. I did have to sit there, as I said, watch it all those times and then um, pause it, fold and try and understand. Okay, so that's that. So this will have to be worked on before you attach it to this. Okay, so and then um, the next thing is to decide is what's going to happen inside. Super pretty, isn't it? So what I'm going to have here is I'm going to have a, a book page pocket. Yes, I am. So let me just see. Oh, no, these are all clipped. These, I've got a few ideas here. Oh, what about this? This could be good. Yes, that would be perfect because then I can use the other bit on another one. So I'm going to um, rip it as you do. And I might just grab my um, clippies over. So that way I can clip my bits into place, we'll clip our bits, let's do that. So that way we don't, I think it's um, less confusing if you clip your bits. So I'll just clip that one there if I can, if I'm able to do it. So I know what's going there. And I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to uh, put some book page there, I think. I think so, I might not. Okay, and that's going to go there, and then I've decided that that's going there. And then the back's easy peasy because the back is going to be, let me just grab one. And I don't think I need to really give you measurements because it's going to depend on your book pages. You just have to adjust it to what, whatever size book pages you have. Um, so this is going to go here. And I'm going to fold that like so. And that is going to go there. So I'll hold my pocket and that and I'll just clip those in place. So then once I've got all my bits, I can start work thinking about decoration. I want to put a book page behind there. Now, can I find my super old book pages I want? 
that's my scrap bin put that over there okay let me see let me see um oh why don't i use the other one i used the other old book page i think i might use this one so i'll just slip that under there yes i think i might like that under there then in here i might try and keep some of that i don't think i i might not even cover all of that over like i'm doing in the other one the other one was just writing it didn't really matter i might just um wait i've got my scrapbook booking paper over i quite like this paper so let's decide now that would be upside down that way what we would like maybe i would like that or would i like maybe i'd like this here i mean here i go again with all my auditioning and indecision as usual it just happens every time doesn't it okay bonnie is really wonderful what you made i really love it and thank you for sharing your your process because looking at it i don't want it that high because i don't want to cover up all of the flowers um i if i had just looked at i would um i would have had to I wouldn't have been able to figure it out just looking at it probably so maybe even a bit less so this is going to be a lower pocket than the other one because I just don't want to cover all those flowers up they're so pretty so that will go there so let's slip that under that clip and then I need another pocket another pocket what did I do in that one oh, I used that yes I've got some strips over here let's just grab those here we go and oh that's nice Wait, I've got a, what's that one? Maybe I'll put that one there, maybe. Um, I don't really want to cut in, ooh. But I wouldn't, Oh, I think I like this bit here. Oh, there's a label, I could have used that. Oh no, I, I did say I'm gonna bring out the labels. The labels are coming back out. They're not going to stay away. I'm just thinking, I think I like the dark color, the darker color. Oh, you see, I lose all of that. Well, I'm going to tear this much thinner. It's just going to be like, oh, I think that's too thin. No, it's not, because I don't want to cover all of that up as well, you see. Making decisions on the fly. Okay, so I'll put that there, and I'll just clip it. Clip it, clip it, clip it. See, once you've done this bit, then you can... Um, start thinking about how you're going to decorate and then I need a I was going to say a napkin I don't need a napkin I need an envelope and I want one of my I might decide to use one of these this color one maybe I'll use one of these yellowy ones and this is going to oh yes I like the yellow one with this one this is going to, I might do a little bit of collage here just because I find that too busy and too distracting, but I'll leave that. Um, and I'm going to put that, that's going to go there. It's very complex, really is a complex thing. Don't know how you thought of this, Bonnie. You must have just sat there and kept trying things. It's very complex. Okay, right. So now we've got all our bits. We know what's going to happen. We've got to figure out now our decoration and that could be quite difficult it's not always the easiest oh i forgot to wet a towel mm. yeah. well i'll have to bring out one of those those um nearly empty wet ones that i found because the other ones that never reappeared so i am considering them goners oh i know we haven't finished because in here in here there are other things happening which i forgot about this here pocket and here can be nothing or a pocket. Maybe I'll do a pocket like that because I didn't want, maybe not want to cover up that. So let's just do my pocket over here. I've just put away all my strips. Let's get the strips out again. And I do really like this paper and I might continue on with that. Oh, in my other one, I did it going all the way up, but there's no reason, except for that white bit there that I'll tear off. There's no reason why it can't be not going all the way up to the top if you know what I mean so I think I'm going to put that there oh that could be a pocket there oh I think I like it more there well that's going to go there now, this poor label has been totally torn up it could have been used I think I might have to cut it 
or I won't get it right. But I do like those torn edges. So that's my, that's my pocket's going to go there. And I think it works really well as a colour. I'll put that in my scrap box. And I need to find something here that I would like to see. Maybe I would like to see something like that, but not that deep. This one. Yes, why not? Now, do we want to keep that one or that one? I think that one. And I need to... Look what I can spy there. Okay, well, I'm going to cut it right there because I want to keep that. Perfect. And I'm just going to tear it down because we're having a torn look. That's the look. It's torn. And I do like this. Okay. Now. Right. So we can get cracking. So that's going to go there. I'm just thinking, because any work that I need to do in here, I want to stitch it. So any work I need to do in here needs to be done before to be done before I attach it to the rest. So I need to think of them as a whole but also separately. So uh, do I want to put anything here? I don't really want to cover up that whole page and there's lots of space there to write so maybe I will just leave it like that. I think I will. So that's going to close and then okay really cute really cute let me just try just just to be sure um, if I want any book page at all just hold, hold that or I can just tear it I've got book pages coming out of my ears oh I'm very excited tonight we're going to, to a yummy restaurant yay with some with our dear friends um who we love and adore and um probably two of my favorite people here in italy and um and we're going up to this restaurant it's up on a so it's up on a rock i think i like the paper in there i think i like it i think i do yes um isn't that it was interesting with this book page too um when I just tore off the the lighter bits these these bits here just down there and down there was the right width for that fold haha <laughs> that was lucky wasn't it oh sorry I'm just getting sidetracked oh yes so we're going up it's called Verucchio you can look it up V-E-R-U-C-C-H-I-O I think um, it's a beautiful um, town up on a rock near where we live and um, we're going to this place called La Rocca and we're going to eat really yummy grilled meat and things like that so um, I'm pretty excited about that today and no cooking although my husband would have done the cooking today but I still would have had to be there or supervising and cleaning up after him and stuff like that because otherwise it gets out of control um, now what I need to do is stitch these things down glue that down so why don't we do that let's get something done okay I just put my basket up there I just kept these out just in case I may have to go back into my my goodies box I'm not sure um, that's an extra glassine bag I don't need that and the fun thing will be for this little project we will make some ephemera I don't know if I get it done today but there will be ephemera made it might be done tomorrow so let's just get this off where else is it attached up there okay so the first thing I'm going to do is glue glue my paper uh, and there's my glue and okay so I have a few orders to send guys those of you who have orders you know um, I didn't couldn't go to the post office today because there's only one lady at my post office and today is the first of the month and I'll have you know that the first of the month in Italy is pension day and most of the um, pensioners have their pension um, at the post office and they all go there and they make a big line and um, they just go and take out all of the pension it's just crazy and like you know they make that they've made them get 
all have like a FPOS card, but lots of them, it's all too much for them and they don't like it. And they still, they gave them all an FPOS card, an ATM card, so that they didn't have to go and pull out all of their pension, but they still go and do it. It's really funny, the poor things. And, um, and, and I just think some person is going to stand around the corner one day and give them a, a bop on the head and, and take their bags full of their pension. It really, really pains me to see them take all that out. Anyway, so anyway, the, you can't go to the post office on the first of the month. It's just not possible. You can't get in the door. Even if you go there before the doors open, it's crowded with people. So um, I'll be shipping all the orders on Monday. Monday is a bit of a nightmare at the post office as well, but I will brave it and go. Okay, I'm going to stitch. Now you could glue, you don't have to stitch. Um, now when I first started making books, I, people were always saying, now don't, I don't recommend that you use double-sided tape. And I was like, oh, well, why not? It's fast, but for pockets. But I actually learned, because I have to learn things by myself, um, that if you put double-sided tape in the pocket, you, when you slip your, fem your ephemera in, it... Um, gets stuck to the to the double-sided tape and it does actually happen I learned that so yes I do would recommend that you would use um, your Fabri-Tac or 3-in-1 or your PVA PVA is just fine for that sort of thing for most anything really okay so now I'm stitching around this pocket Oh, this is a really fun project. Thank you so much, Bonnie. Okay, I did do a little teeny tiny back stitch there, um, even though I do fear that it might put a hole in my paper, but it didn't, so it's okay. So that is stitched. So this is this bit is pretty much done, really. Um, I did have a tag floating around. I thought I might... Oh, I don't know what I've done with it. I, don't tell me I put something away. Well, we'll use this. I was just going to show you. Pocket in there. Pocket in there. How cool is that? So that's that. Then I need to deal with this. So one of the first things I want to do here is... I'm just going to put a strip, I think. I think I'll stay... Let's see how high this goes. Um, yes, I'll stay just in line with that um, brown line there. And I'll go just below that line there. Because I don't want it just a little strip of thing poking out there. I just want it to go there just to cover this bit here, if I'm making any sense at all. Probably not. So let me just... And I'm going to stick with the same old book. So I just really need to... First thing I need to do, they're my other pockets, I know those... I need to tear here. And I'll just tear it about here because it's not going to go all the way. It doesn't need to because you won't be able to see it. And then let me just measure here. I want it to be. So I might put that. I won't take that off. I'll take it off. Did I say just below? Let me measure again. When in doubt, no, up a bit. I think I'll measure it there. And I'm just going to tear that off and then I'm going to glue that down. Oh, I think I like that side more. I do, even though I won't be able to see it. Hopefully I'm recording because this is very complex. I wouldn't like to have to do it again. Although I probably will want to make them again because I'm having quite a bit of fun. You may have noticed. Okay. I really don't see any of this as a chore. It's really just a lot of fun. Okay, just let me double check. I'm videoing and I'm on screen. Oh, 24 minutes. Woo woo. Okay, so that's that. See, then when that's there, you can just see the little bit of book page, but it's not weird because I've got a strip poking out the bottom there or at the top there, if you know what I mean. That's what I, that was my plan. Now, my next job is to attach this, I think. Will I attach? Now, I haven't done this before, so I could make a mistake. Will I attach? No. 
No, I think I'm going to... Where did those pockets go? I think I might attach these. What about if I attach those? Because I can still collage with those attached. I think I'll attach those first. And then I will attach that. Or do I need to stitch them both? No, I need to stitch them both. So I'm going to attach that first. And I am going to lose... Oh, you know what I should have done? There you go. Oh, can I tear it off? Yes, I can. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, lucky. Do you know what I'm going to do? Which I think is even cleverer is oh that was making me have a hot flash Woo. i'd have to take my jumper off now i need to put a bit of glue here i'm putting i'm sorry you can't see i've gone way off screen because i've got stuff everywhere but it's not as bad as when i'm doing collage collaging because um then i have even more stuff everywhere so i'm just going to kind of eyeball it doesn't really it does not matter if it's not right in the center it really doesn't I just want to make sure it's straight yes it is so that's going to go there that's what I'm going to do put that first so put your envelope before you put your strip envelope before strip okay envelope before strip and then put this down like so you're going to love Bonnie when you go and look at her especially her Instagram she's kind of new on YouTube but if you see her Instagram, she has a lot of followers on Instagram and does really pretty stuff. Very inspiring. And all of that, um, when I did that wrapping, she was, I, I did say it and I think I did link her Instagram um, when I showed how I wrapped someone's order um, or a present, I can't remember what. Um, it was Bonnie that inspired me. I think I told Bonnie that. Okay, so that's going there. That's going to go there. And I like that with the little old writing poking out and then that's there and then what I need to do is reclip these here oh and the other thing I hadn't decided yet which we will decide together is so that will go there I might have it going right that can go right to the edge and that will go there I might wait a second before I stitch it because I'll just let that glue dry just a teeny tiny bit um, I'm going to decide also if I would like I think I might collage on there like one piece of paper and I might bring out the printables for that depending what goes or a piece of um, or, or I might use a piece of cardstock depends of you know scrapbooking paper and do the what we did before and then um, I may open it at the top I think for something different so it's a top yes a top top tuck top tuck that's what I'm going to do yes and then that will have something on there as well or I was thinking if I put I might I don't know it might make it I know I'm going to use one of my collage pages that you can journal on that's what it's going to be that's what it was going to do yes okay so that's that and then this this I might, um, I might stitch this down now before I do this. No. Now how's that going to work? Just a minute. How is that going to work? Might have to do this one first and then that one because it's bigger and I won't, then I won't stitch close that one. See? So if you had a bigger bag that went right to the edge and you were at risk of closing the bag, then you wouldn't do that. But mine is smaller. It's not going to go right to the edge. And so I'm going to stick this down before I stitch this down. Okay, so I've got to think about it. Okay, I've got my piece here. Which side would I like to keep? That side or... I think I like that side. So let's tear it down again. I just put it near so I can... Oh, I've got... I think I've got more than one page here. I do. Put that one over there. We don't want to waste it because it's too nice. So more uh this one needs to be a bit wider than the other one i think so first of all i'm going to, just going to tear it here okay and then let's measure and yes i think i'll tear it about there how about that okay and then i need to take off a little bit off the base 
and then I can glue it down. Okay, I mean you could have a very beautiful page and not decide to do that step, you might not need to. So you just have to decide, depending on what you have, what you're using. Um, yes, so I'm just wondering, I think that might be a little bit sticky. Okay, get my glue on there. So depending on what you do, you have to decide um, what, oh, I lost a corner. I'll just put that there in case I want to do a jigsaw puzzle. Um, you have to decide what, in what order you need to do things. If it's all too hard, literally just put, just put your PVA glue down the edges and glue it down and you don't have to worry about any order really. It's not a problem. See, I lost that corner. Will I stick that on? Here it is. We'll stick it on. There we go. Right. So now it's time to stitch this. Now first I need to stitch that there, or you could glue it, but I need to stitch that there to create my little pocket. So I'll do that. Let's get everything out of my way. And I'll just stitch that bit there. My back stitch there that was fairly strong that it can take it and I'll just trim that off okay I need my sewing machine again in a second and I'll get that there and I need to put this here and I like that I mean you could choose to even just to glue the whole bag down but then you lose that tuck spot there this is a really cool thing now I think I don't know if I'm wrong Bonnie might do a lot of um, sort of happy have happy male people so I think she might have um, she does those sort of created these sort of things knowing what people might like now I do wonder I think I might stitch it I think I might glue that little bit down there that little flappy bit that's going to have a bit of glue and I'm going to stitch closer to the opening yes I think that's a good idea There. Okay, got my pocket on the back. Now let's put the pocket on the other side. Oh, what's going on here? I can't pick up my thread. There we go. And I shouldn't be stitching anything that I don't need to stitch. So that's going to go there. So I think, um, you know what we're going to do in this video, I think we're going to go through and do the other one and then tomorrow I'll decorate them. That's what's going to happen because I think um, it's quite, as I keep saying, it's quite a complex thing to make. You've got to think about it and I think possibly it would be beneficial to see it being put together again. Now I nearly did a boo-boo because this needs to be attached first before I do any of that other stuff I think so let me see I need to stitch I need to attach this so let me just see where do I want to attach it I want to attach it about oh, I want to line it up there too so okay that's good so I need to get a clip here and I'm going to take those off 
because they're not getting stitched yet. Let's see, I'm thinking about what because I'm going to stitch them there and there so that yes, so that won't stitch this closed because I don't want to stitch this closed. Okay, and I'm not stitching anything else closed. Okay, see, I think we're going to make the other one the base of the other one before I go on any further. So you see it twice. If you don't need to see it twice, you won't need to. You can fast forward the video to the end when I do a recap. So I'm just stitching to my fold line. I turn, when I turn, I've got my needle down in the paper for any, new, for any newbies. Okay, and I back stitched because it's thick and I can. I wouldn't back stitch if you feel like it's going to, you know, rip holes in your paper, but this is quite strong paper, number one, and it's double. Okay, right, let's recap where we are at now. So if we close it, Oh, folding it the wrong way, aren't I? So that's like that. Okay, so I've got my tuck spot here. Where's my... Oh, it's in here. So you open it, tuck spot here, tuck spot there, close it. Got big tuck spot here. Or you could have it at the top if you want to. Then you open your folder, and I've got this attached, which I haven't dealt with yet. I've got to put my pockets in there. I've got my pocket here. And then I've got a pocket there, and I've got a nice pocket there as well. This is super cool. Thank you, Bonnie. I keep, I keep thanking you, but I just really love it. I really love it when there's something that I understand, kind of, um, that's enjoyable to make. And, hello, no, measurement, no measurements. So I'm just going to hold, I'm holding this open just in case. I don't want to... I'm going to be very careful with my stitching. Oh, no, I'm not going to hold it open. Otherwise, I'll stitch it open. So you have to think about it. So if you're worried about this step, you just get your glue out, really. Don't, don't, um, if you've got any doubts, just use your glue and you won't make any mistakes like I nearly did. I hope I don't stitch anything shut. Here we go. Okay. And then I've got to go up here. And I might just go all the way just to make extra um, strength in that one. And then I'll just trim my threads and let's see if I made any boo boos. Right. I'm going to collage in there, but we'll do that tomorrow. That that it's open yes that okay no that's all still open that's all still open okay so we've built it it's been built okay let's do the other one and then we'll recap okay mm -hmm. so first i'm going to deal with the front so let's see get i don't even know where my clips are yes okay take that off and this i'm going to glue this down first that's number one so let's get some glue. So number one, step number one, if you want to write it down, glue, if you're, you're putting an envelope on or a flip, glue that in place first, if you're going to cover it up. Glue that on first, step one. Yep. And I'm just eyeballing it. There we go. It doesn't matter. We like it when things don't matter. Okay, that's step number one. Step number two. Put your strip on here. Uh, now, I may have to double my... I wanted to use this colour paper on here. This is super old. And I'm going to tear it. And what I'm going to do is just uh, add on a piece where I need to. And in this case, because it's this kind of color I might not I might be even partial to it um, no I don't think I want it to stick out the bottom actually I tell a lie and I don't want I'm going to get rid of this because I don't need that so let me see where do I need to glue this I'm going to glue this one first I've got all bits hanging out everywhere should I take I'll just remove those bumps get off forget 
um, what was what. I'll just put those in there because those all go over there. And that, oh, that was going on there. I can remember that. Okay. So, sorry, this is a bit haphazard here. So, um, and, uh, right. So that's going to go there. Maybe we'll make this one. No, I like it as a side, a side pocket. So that's going to go there. So I need to glue this one about there. I might put just a little pencil mark, a little vague pencil mark so I can see. So glue this one down. Just just go slightly over my pencil mark, I think. And that one's going there. And I'm going to grab this one. And I'm going to tear off that bit. Because I don't need that. And I'm going to have a little look here. I don't need it to be too... And see, I'm just going to jigsaw it. You won't even be able to tell. And that, so that goes there. And so tanto. Tanto. That, there, there's my word where I have to rip it. Okay. Oh, wait, let's just put this. So I'm kind of measuring, but I'm just um, eyeball measuring. Yes, there you go. You won't be able to see that afterwards. Okay, so that's there. Now, we've got to work on this. So step one put the envelope on. I couldn't tell you this before because I hadn't done one before. Step two, if you want to put a little strip there, if, you, if you're going to do a side tuck like me, if not you might be wanting to put that in the center and make a top tuck um, and then maybe you even you're going to leave the page or you might cover the whole page with writing which would be really cool as well. I'm doing a side tuck so I'm going to have that closer to the to the spine there, to the fold. Okay, so my next job is to put my pockets in here. These are already decided, so all I have to do is stitch. Stitch away. I don't know if I'm on screen. You'll, you'll forgive me. Right. Okay. So that is that. Flip it over. So then we'll have a think about what would we do with these. I mean, obviously they'd be very good for anyone who sends happy mail. Um, but if you don't, um, I'll just stitch and then we'll chat. Just a sec, take that off, it's not straight. Okay. Okay, so I mean even this on its own is super cute, super cute, super cute. I mean you can attach that to a journal page and have your tuck spot in even any which direction that you like and it opens out and you've got more tucky spotty things. If you didn't have a pretty page there you could have a little booklet in there, you know like a flip up notebook sort of thing. Um, okay, anyway let's get back on track. So I could actually stitch that on. Why don't I do that? So let's re reiterate. Step one, if you want to flip out or an envelope, attach it. Step two. Oh, well, number one could really be you could do that bit first. I haven't. It doesn't matter. I think I'll be able to manage it even in the sewing machine, um, even though I, I can do it after. Um, so step one, envelope. Step two, if you want to cover that up, Step three, stitch in your pockets in here. If you're having pockets or notebook or little album, little you could have folded pages, signature in there. Okay, and then that's the next. And then you can, depending what type of pocket you've decided to put on inside, I can now stitch this in place. 
Yes, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to remove all this paraphernalia that I've got flopping about here. It's driving me bananas. Right. Okay. I'm going to go grab a clip and clip it so it doesn't move. It's in place. I'm going to stitch it. So if you're having a, a top tuck, you go around these sides. I'm having a side, so I'm going around these. So I'll just get this and move it. I'm super excited about this project. I'm sure you can tell. It's very exciting. Hold, hold this out. You don't want to stitch that down by mistake, just in case. You never know. So anything you've attached, just make sure you're not going to, by stitching, you're not going to stitch it down. Because I can't imagine unpicking paper. It wouldn't, I mean, you can unpick fabric, but I don't know what unpicking paper would be like. Okay. Oh, see, I put a hole there. Um, might have to put some washi there or something afterwards just to make sure it's all okay. Right, that's that. So that's done. So now I'm going to look at, might as well get all that this side done. Now here I wanted to stick down a page and I think I'll just, I might do a little tear there. Just a little hand tear just to have the, the torn look. And I'm just going to stick that there because I felt like this was all too much. So I'm going to glue that down there. I might tear the bottom as well. And then I'll try my pockets and see what it's going to look like. Okay, probably over an hour now, but I really wanted to just do another one because it, it took me a while to um, figure it out. It's a bit too complex for my brain. Right. So that's going to go there. Then, that's that. I've got these. Were going to be my. See, I want to. I did really wonky tearing there. So, oh, I know that's going to go there. That's where that was going to go. So I'll glue that down first. That was covering up that space. Love that paper. Love it. Beautiful. And then this and this are going to be stitched in place here. See, I kept that torn edge there too. I like that. Might just have to trim this down just a little bit. Otherwise, I'll, it'll be sticking out and bend over. And I'm just going to put this like so. And then I'm going to clip it with a strong, strong clip so I don't, it doesn't move. But I need to be careful what I'm clipping there because I don't want to stitch that shut. That's got to go like that. Just a second. Yes, that'll do. And just this one. Yes, yeah, uh, now I don't want to stitch that open, but I don't want to stitch it shut either. Oh no, I'm not going to stitch it shut because I'm stitching, you see, I'm going to be stitching down here. Whereas that's up there, so that's good. Okay, good. So I can oh 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 uh, oh I'm hooked onto my my wire. Now, one lady one time asked me why did I have to have a wire on my microphone? I chose to buy a wire, um, you know, a microphone with a cord that you plug in because sometimes internet doesn't go, and if it were wireless, I wouldn't be able to video. At least. If the internet's not going, I can still do my video and then I can just upload it when the internet starts going again. For example, last weekend I wouldn't have been able, to, two days I wouldn't have been able to do a video if I didn't, if I had a wireless microphone. Because none of our devices were connecting to the internet. Not one. They had a problem, they had to fix it. Um, but I was able to video on my device and then, um, you know, with the uh, cord, attach it to the computer and upload it because the internet was working on the computer, but not the devices. The wireless wasn't working, but the computer's actually attached to the modem 
Yeah, am I explaining myself? I don't know. I could put something up there. I can decide that afterwards, tomorrow. That's going to go there, but I'm not doing that now because we're decorating tomorrow. Um, so this oil opens. Let's just double check. Yes. Okay, so now we can work on this side. Now again, um, now I'll have to take that out. I'll open it. There we go. Oh my God, what a, what a flop I am. Okay, take that off. Okay, and I'm, going to, I'm not going to tear this because I need to cover up most of that. And that's sticky, so I'll get rid of that. We're nearly done, guys. And you can forward. You can fast forward. But I did feel like it was helpful to go through and do two. Okay, so I'm going to just attach that like so. It's fairly straight, it's not perfect. And then I'm going to just put a little bit of glue on there like before. And I prefer to stitch here because I feel like it's a pressure point. Like if I stitch there, I felt like it might rip because it's not double. <coughs> So yes, so I'm, I'm going to actually, it makes my pocket a tiny bit smaller, but it doesn't matter. Get my sewing machine. Oh, I better take that off. It's, gonna, it's bending. Put that on afterwards. Right, everything get out of my way. I can fold that. It's not at any risk of being stitched. Okay. Oh, I forgot to stitch that bit. Um, I'll put some PVA under it. It'll have to have PVA. You see? That's what happens. So, I've got a goobery bit. Just a second. All right, we've got time for that. Oh, okay. So I'll put, put it on here, you see? A little bit of glue there, and that will stick down. I knew I forgot a step. I knew it. When I started doing, stitching this, I knew there was something I wasn't doing. I'm not worried about that because I'm going to collage on there. Okay, so that's stitched on. We've got, I think, only one more thing to do. And then we can just do a recap. And, um, and then tomorrow we'll come back and decorate it. Maybe, probably not too much, but we, if we don't do too much decoration, we'll do some, some paraphernalia to go inside. How about that? So this is going to go here. I'm going to stitch that in place. And when I do my recap, we'll go through the steps. We'll number them. And again, here I have not, so not uh, so far, I have not used any printables, but they will be coming out tomorrow, maybe. Depends. We'll see. Okay, recap time. We can stand up. That's right. Okay, so I've made two of these. Um, oh, yay, only 53 minutes. Okay, so um, we'll go through the flips uh, first. Here's my little thing. So I've got flip here in both of them. Same in that one as well. Then I did them both the same really. Then we open it and we've got the flip inside. I mean the pocket inside I should say. Um, and here. And this one is more plain inside because I didn't want to cover up the beautiful decoration there. And that's that. And that's that. Okay. And then closes like that. And, and you could have like a string there as well and tie it closed if you wanted to. I've attached an envelope that's going to be decorated. Um, the envelope's going to be closed here and have a tuck spot somewhere. So this one has a tuck spot here, 
tuck spot there, pocket there, and pocket here, and pocket there. Oh, and pocket there. Three pockets. I didn't show that before. There, there, and there. I definitely think with these ones that have that little bit there, it's good to sew them close to the opening because I can see that would pull and rip it. And then this one inside has the envelope. And maybe in this one, one of them I'll decide to have it opening in a different direction. We've got the big tuck there, tuck there, pocket there, and tuck there, there, and there. Okay, so quickly before we sign off, let's do the steps. So you need one um, piece of book page. So it could be, could be, oops, sorry, my head hit the thing. Stop shaking, don't make everybody seasick. So you could have a piece like this. Fold the first piece in half. Then you have another pretty piece like an Edith Holden page, a single page, and fold that in three. So one, oh sorry, yes, in three parts. One, two, three. So you do two folds. And then you can tear that or you can keep it straight and put a tab on it, whatever you like. Okay, so that those are the first two steps. The next step is to, if you want to, attach a flip here. So it can be a flip that just a flip out that's not a pocket or it could be an envelope. And so um, attach it to the front of your, your base piece and so it folds in there. That's the next step. Then the fourth step is, so one, fold your book page in half, two, fold this one um, in three, and then three, put on your flip and glue it down. Four, if you want to put cover up where you've attached your um, flip with some text or something or scrapbooking paper, do that. Then attach your pockets inside your exterior piece. So that's uh, step number six. Five is this. Step six is attaching your pockets to this. Step seven, you can attach this, is step seven. And what I recommend is when you attach this, uh, if you're going to do the side flip especially, attach it more over to one side. So that way when you stitch your pocket on the in other side, you don't catch it and maybe have it up a bit higher than like I do here. Leave a bit of space there so you can stitch the other page. Next thing we go and we're going to go and work inside. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six. Step number seven. If you need to do collaging in there, or it could, I didn't do collaging in there in this one. See? So my step number seven in this one was attaching these pockets. Um, my step number seven here was doing the collage, and step number eight was this, attaching this. Then step number nine, collage here. Ten, add your glassine bag. And then eleven, add your book page. Obviously, if you decide to do some form of collaging somewhere else, then you have to do that. You have to add that step in. Okay, so I hope that was clear. And I hope you enjoyed this. Tomorrow, I'm going to have fun decorating these. I can't wait. So that is today's pocket. Very exciting. And thank you so much, Bonnie, at Living, Living Life Creatively, I think it is, the Creative um, Paper Moth on Instagram. I will link her videos below and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.